Hey guys, what's up? So we're back with another video. And today I'm going to be explaining my top 5 favorite uh, support heroes. And also, like, top 5 best support heroes almost. But they're not really rated. Like, I'm not really rating this just out of, like, what are actually the top 5 best. Just what I think is, like, pretty good. And what, you know, is this ranking. So first, this is not top uh, top 5 heroes. These are just uh, spe uh, special mentions. And Emily is a special mention because... She's really good at early game, really easy to get. She can also be used as good 10-star food. She's also really good in the sail land, and this is why. Because when Emily drops below 50% HP, she increases all allies 29% of attack and reduces all enemies 29% of armor for 3 rounds. And this can only trigger once, but this is really uh, this is really good because in sail land, you can reduce their armor and also gain more attack, so Penny can clear sail on 20 pretty easily with Emily's. And also, it's really good in PvP, just as a little, you know, boost stick. You know, you can put her put her on first slot whenever she drops below 50% HP. Your team will do a little bit more damage for three rounds. Re pretty nice if you have copies laying around and you don't really know what hero to use. And yeah, that's uh, why I'm uh, mentioning her. And then we will have, I'm pretty sure we're going to put Gustin. As another uh, another special mention, it's just because of his uh, just what he does. He has his demon totem for three has a six percent chance to remove one attri attribute buff, which is really nice too. And uh, what else does he have? Has a fifty. He also reduces energy. I kind of forgot that Gustin. He's he's not a really meta hero. He used to be used a lot, but he's really good because he can reduce energy. He also the uh, link of souls i think that's his passive whenever his uh self takes damage the target linked will also take 70 percent of the re received damage when the target linked dies link of souls will choose a new target at the start of the next round i'm pretty sure he links to enemy is what it means pretty sure that's what it does whenever an ally is attacked by uh, has a two buffs but yeah that's why i put gustin you know as another special mention i don't want to put him on the list because he's not really that meta anymore but He's decent. He's also got imprints, so that's pretty nice. But, uh, yeah. Now, time for the top five heroes. So, I'm putting Cruz at the fifth. I was really deciding him and Emily, but I feel like Cruz is a teensy bit better. So, the reason I think Cruz is here, because he also increased... Uh, one thing he does good is he increases your PvE damage. So, that's that's his passive skill. We'll just explain this first since we're on it. In PvP, whenever his HP drops below 50%, and uh, at 10 star, has a, he has a 75% chance to stun all enemies for two rounds, which is really, really good if you build him like decently tanky, but still like your lowest health hero and put him first slot. You can get a really good stun, makes it so you can uh, beat the opposing team a lot easier. And also, what was. He, yeah, he inflicts this weakness mark against ra uh, four random enemies he inflicts on the target on the target for three rounds and increases 100. 100 energy to a random ally. He can also increase energy, as you can see in this one. And uh, also, targets inflicted with weakness mark will take an extra 50% damage, which is another reason he's really good. He's uh, This also makes him really good support here in PvP. And yeah, this is why I think Cruz is going to be ranked 5 on this list. But uh, I actually use Cruz on one of my other accounts as 6 star with a uh, magic stone sword. And he works out really good. If I think, well, actually, no, he's 10 star now. And he does really, really good with the Magic Stone Sword. But, uh, yeah, that's why I'm ranking him here. And now, what was our fourth place? I'm pretty sure... No, 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 this is my fourth place. Fourth place, actually, a lot of a hero, a lot of y'all probably know, is going to be Scarlet Queen Alora. You would think, you know, how Scarlet Queen Alora support? She's a, you know, she's an insane trans hero that does tons of damage in PvP. And, yeah, I'll show you why. Why she is, is... She, this one passive, this one passive is insane. This is why Scarlet Queen Allura is so good in so many game modes. So when the battle starts, uh, she grants all allies except herself Queen's Guard, and increases all their damage dealt by fifteen percent. And also, once you get her V three, it goes up to twenty percent. And this shows what Queen's Guard does. Whenever Halora is attacked by an active skill or basic attack, all of the guards will attack the attacker, dealing damage equal to 800% of their attack. So, if you play Scarlet Queen Allura on the front slot, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people in your server, or TOC, or FTA, IDA, place Halora in the front slot, and this is why. 
because she makes she does these pings that pings the person that hits her and it does tons of damage most of the time if you hit her the first round uh, all her allies will hit you and most time you will hit unbending will the first round which is really insane but uh yeah that's why she's so good as a support hero that's why i'm putting her in fourth place now let's go on to third at third place wait wait, wait is this correct third place who else was i putting wait 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 one second here let me pause this okay okay sorry guys i totally forgot who my second place was for a second but i do now remember but uh we're gonna be putting olivia third place on this list because you don't see that many people run olivia but the people who do you know olivia's actually really good i love olivia she's such a fun hero and she's really good as a single hero too like early game but uh yeah i'm gonna be showing you why she's so good so her active skill does damage against one and en energy and enchants to shrink the target for two rounds and grants fairies guard to rent to rent to three random allies for two rounds and uh the shrink it's it's whatever i'll read it out to you real quick though it increased all the damage is damages yeah that's uh i don't think that's how you want to say that but increase increases all the damage that sh that the shrunk targets receive by 30 percent will reduces all the damage they deal by 50 percent yeah this wording is really bad how they put this but whatever i'm gonna try to read this the best i can but uh the fairy's guard does whenever when heroes granted with fairy's guard fairy's guard fairy guard are attacked by active skill or basic attack fairy fairy's guard will deal armor ignoring damage to by 300 percent of the grantee's attack to the attacker and restore the grantee 150 percent of attack so what she does is she does tons of damage if someone if a, a p opposing person on the other team attacks one of the people that she has fairy guard on they take tons of damage and also the person they attacked heals for 100 150 percent of attack which is really nice and that's why she's really good in pvp she's also really good in pve because of her shrink and she makes you do a lot more damage to bosses she's just she's just a fun good support hero definitely recommended to build maybe not as a end game hero but she can be used in end game too especially with like an asmo team to heal asmo and stuff it's really good but uh <clears throat> this is another reason she's good when a round ends she exchanges speed with one random enemy who has higher speed than self for one round and grants one random alley fairy's guard for two rounds that's another reason she's really good in pvp and yeah she's just all around good here in pvp and pv and she has void imprints to increase all this stuff so yeah Definitely a recommended build. I'm placing. That's why I'm placing her on third on this list. But now for second place. Second place is going to be Ignis. And I will show you why Ignis is so good. But instead of looking at this avatar, I don't really like this skin to be honest. Like I don't really like her normal look. I kind of like the skin I have on her. I actually have it Ignis because she's so good. I still need to get her max level. But um, I'll be showing you why she's so good. So what she does is her passive skill. This is one massive reason people use her <clears throat> when ignis dies she will heal the nearest ally hero whose lineup position is the forward slot takes priority which i can show you quickly just exactly so like ignis is right here and since russell is right in front of her in the forward slot which would be the fourth slot and she's in the fifth slot he's going to get energy when she dies that's why i place her, uh place her there so russ can get energy and also heal but yeah that's really nice. So when she dies, she will heal the nearest ally, which, you know, whose position is right in front of her, by 100% of the ally's max HP. So they heal for tons whenever she dies. And I think that's that 10 star, but that's whatever. And increases the ally 100% energy and 100% of control immunity. The control immunity is really good there, too, for, like, Sherlock doves and stuff. That's why I see I never really see my Rust get doved after my Ignis dies. I actually need to lower her health. She's actually a little too tanky now. She doesn't die that much. I think she has the most health on my team, which kind of sucks. But I probably put speed enables on her or something, maybe attack. I don't know. But uh, what else she does? So her active skill, it does damage to the front line. You don't really care about her damage since she's a support hero. But she heals the ally with the lowest HP by 50% of... Ignis's max HP and increases the nearest ally 
whose line position in the forward slot takes priority, 40% of damage reduction for 3 rounds and 100% energy. So that's actually really good too. That's why she's pretty good with energy. And right now I'm running a glittery crown on her because it just makes her more tanky and it's just nice. So I like it. Uh, but the, another reason I'm making her tanky is because, like it says, heals the ally with the lowest HP by 50% of Ignis's max HP. So they heal more if you have more HP on her. That's why I'm running her so tanky with the glittery count and uh, half and half health. But I still have yet to max her stone, but I'll do that sooner or later. But uh, let's see here. So let's find our first place. So this is a hero many of y'all will know. She just came out, and she is she is honestly... If there was, a S, there, there was an S tier with like two or three heroes, I would I'd honestly put her on S tier. She's a support hero, and she's good in PvE. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you why, so let's get into that. So, the reason Fiona is so good, I actually haven't uh, used her read through her abilities yet, but I've seen a lot of fights with her, and it's kind of shown me why she's so good. But we're not, we're, we'll read out this. So, her passive skill, as soon as the round starts, when the battle starts, grants all allies a shield equal to... A thousand percent of attack and a layer of redemption, which heals them equal to 15% of their max HP. When a round ends, it grants two allies with the lowest HP a shield equal to 500% of attack and a layer of redemption, with healing effect equal to 15% of the target's max HP. Let's read what redemption does. When the shield is gone, restores self HP, the effect will disappear upon the trigger, not stackable. Shield. Offsets the direct damage and dot received damage over time. It will disappear when the strength of the shield is zero. The shield strength caps at 5,000 of self-attack. That's one reason she's really good as a PvP support hero. She's also pretty good in PvE if your team's dying in broken spaces or something. Another reason she's really good is because she does tons of damage in PvE. She out damage she would out damage a Scarlet Queen Laura. I think she also out damaged SFX. I don't know about the Aqua, but uh yeah. But um what it does is she puts these sanction marks, as you can see in here, on heroes, and she just stacks these. And over like uh rounds in PvE she stacks these, she's just more and more damage, just doing tons of damage. She'll do like Sometimes she could do like, uh, I'd say like 6 billion to 8 billion in one active. She does tons of damage. Maybe not that much. Maybe like maybe like 3 to 5 billion, but she does tons of damage in one active. She's really good as a PvP damage hero. Really good as a PvP support. And that's why I'm going to rank her as first on this list. And yeah, that's kind of my list of why... These heroes are top five and, you know, just the best heroes to build and put on your team. But before we end this video, I'm going to show you exactly why Ignis is so good. So let's just fight a random person real quick. Uh, let's see, someone that's decently good. Uh, let's see. He's not that good. That's, I'm definitely going to lose. I can't not be. Okay, here. This is my other account on the server. It has S effects, level 350, and let's. I'm just going to show you why Ignis is so good. So as you can see, she's here right beside Russell, who do not have a Void Hero. This account I'm fighting does have a Void Hero, so it's, you know, kind of not too fair. But I do have a fully 5 team, and the other account is only got 45s with a 9-star Rogan and a 10-star Rogan. But yeah, let's see if we can win. So you can see the Russell just died there. We might actually lose this, because S effects is so overpowered. I was trying to show off the Ignis here, but it didn't really work. <laughs> I did try to show off Ignis, but it didn't really work. Let me try this one more time. Let's do one more battle here. I was hoping for the Ignis to feed energy. Like, let's we'll slow this down real quick. So you can see Rogan... Oh, now he's dead. Okay, whatever, dude. Okay, oh, SFX died. Okay, I think we win this. Thank you, Carrie. Ah. Oh. Okay, Ignis still has that Horrify. Okay, is she going to die, Ignis? I don't think Ignis is going to die. Is Ignis going to do anything this whole match? Oh, come on, Ignis. She's so dubbed. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to show off the Ignis here, and it's just making it so I can't. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're doing good. I, don't, I think we need to finally show off Ignis. Please don't get horrified. Okay, oh. <sighs> she got horrified again. Okay, 
Okay, she took some damage. She's going to act. Okay, watch. She's going to get active here and heal the whole team. Okay. Okay. As you can see, my ticks, since the Russell already had full energy, she did an active and gave the ticks full energy and healed them to max HP, which is really insane because she just got a big active of killing one of the ticks, almost killing the whole team. But now Russell's going to finish it off, and we win. But yeah. This is kind of just a highlight of, you know, why Ignis is so good. And that's why I actually use her on my team. I might, I don't know what I'll do because I'm actually really close to getting a Scarlet Crinolora on this account. I'm about 4.5 million COT. I don't think this is max. Okay, it's not. But I'm at uh, about 4.5, basically 4.5 million COT. So once I get Scarlet Crinolora, I don't really know who to replace for Scarlet Crinolora. I was thinking like maybe, maybe Russell or Ignis, maybe even the Tix, to be honest. Tix is... Tix is still good in PvP, though. Tix is just, I don't know, he's just such a good hero. I'll probably keep him, but I, I really don't know what I'll do yet. But, uh, yeah, that's my top five favorite uh, support heroes and also top five best support heroes, if you want to say that. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, this helped you out and stuff, make sure to like, please. And also make sure to subscribe, because that helps me out a lot. My goal, I want to get a 1,000 sub su subs, which I don't think I'll get anytime soon. But that's okay, but, you know. Maybe you can subscribe, help me reach that goal. That'd be really nice of you. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.